Hi, I'm Liam Waterford. I'm one of the maths and science teachers here at Arana. I'm here to talk to you about the science that we do at Arana Stein School. Um, we follow the ACARA curriculum like all other schools in the ACT and we do some really exciting things in our science program. One of the most exciting things is that we, do, we follow a main lesson structure where we have three weeks of an in-depth study in, a, in different subjects. So whether that be physics or chemistry or biology, every year all the students work together for three weeks every day on that one subject. So for example in class nine we do a physics main lesson called the physics of telecommunications and transport where we look at the underlying physics of telecommunications and transport, the heat transfers, the energy and all of these kind of things and every single day we do an experiment and the students get to observe which is a really important part with science rather than being told how things work they observe it and they come to it themselves they come to the understanding of how things work themselves through these experiments um, so we work right up to the present day we look at mobile technology how does that all work and then we also look at transport and we even go right up into rockets we create our own rocket we go outside we blow it up uh, and then we also talk about the renewable energies as well um, and we look at entrepreneurs things like what Elon Musk is doing where he's trying to bring the space age into reality where we can actually do things very very cheaply what most people think about when you teach and learn about science is that this is how something works now let's go and see that working in reality whereas what we do in the Steiner School is we we do things around the other way because we think that the most important thing that the students can get is an ability of how to think for themselves so what we do is we set up the experiment and we get them to observe really closely what's, happened, what's happening there and then through that they then take that into themselves and we question them and out of that they get the knowledge themselves so they have to think for themselves I don't just give them the concept and then we check whether it works I show them the experiment and then out of that they then gain the knowledge themselves and this is a really important process particularly in high school as we go into senior college because it's a skill that isn't quite there yet and so through our science we're getting them into their thinking and into their higher order thinking skills so that once they get into senior college and university they're really creative thinkers